Mike Standing is hosting his 10th annual Mid-Atlantic Rockfish Shootout in Virginia Beach. There is over $220,000 in prize money, but there aren't any stripers. Chris Reckling has the story. The 10th annual Mid-Atlantic Rockfish Shootout received big news Wednesday when several boats hooked up bluefin tuna off Cape Henry. Good news travels fast. Wave runner Captain Pat Foster decided to try his luck. Yeah, actually, there's some hooked up. I don't know if anyone's boated any yet, but there were some hooked up. So uh, hopefully they're, they are tunas. I mean, we don't know until we actually see one. I've heard a lot of rumors. Just minutes from Rudy Inlet, the lines were in the water. And with whales in the area, the crew is feeling good about their chances of hooking up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I hope there is a tunas, but uh, the rockfish season has kind of been up and down so far this year. Uh, but uh, the tunas definitely, like I said, <laughs> that's always great when you can catch a 200 pound tuna. Back at the Virginia Beach Fishing Center, tournament director Mike Standing is excited that for the second straight year, the Rockfish Shootout will have a separate tuna division. Uh, several years ago, we would have the tunas, but they would mostly be between 5 and 20 to 30 miles out. But this past few years, they've pushed inside the three miles lines. And um, they're following the bait. There's an abundance of bait, and uh, they're following it in, and, and uh, it makes it really exciting. It's uh, seeing boats back down the middle of uh, rockfish and chasing uh, two, three, four hundred pound tunas on little reels is uh, pretty exciting. Back on the wave runner, a strike. After a short fight and speculation as to what was on the end of the line, Captain Pat Foster's gamble had paid off. It is, the timing is there and, and if you have the right equipment, uh, you can catch them. A lot of people are hooking them and not catching them, but uh, it helps to have a little experience and the right equipment, obviously. And, and a lot of it is luck, and, I, and I'll take luck over skill any day. And I think I've been fortunate in that department. Reporting from the waters of Cape Henry, Chris Reckling for the Sports Wrap.